Afternoon guys and welcome to the golf studio at Woodbridge. I'm with Mr. Peasy. How you doing mate? Good mate, thanks to you. Very well, thank you. Feeling inspired by Rick Shield and Peter Finch, by you know, those guys having lessons. I thought I'd come down and see Peasy and have a little refresher and just see what I need to do to improve because recently I haven't been playing well and yeah, I kind of want to start fresh again, go back to basics. See what I need to do and this man is going to fix me. He Christian actually had a lesson with James the other week and done wonders. Absolutely amazing job. So we're going to use the trap man, get some figures. Got some catch -ups to do now, we? So? We've got some catch -ups to do. We do, yeah. So basically I played with Christian and we basically swapped handicaps. I shot 12 over and he shot 6 over. And that was thanks to Peasy's little lesson. So yeah, we're going to have a catch up, Peasy, get quick lesson in then I might go play nine holes see how we get on now why did I do that because I refused to spoon with you last night why did I do that outside the hitting area. <laughs> but it didn't get speed. So Peasy are playing, Peasy and I are playing a game where you've got to hit the ball through the orange thing just there. I'm hitting the ball far too high, so this is going to help me. What? 80 then. Was the 80. No, yeah. How many shots? 26. Ignore that one. So that's the start point, was it? One, two, yep. three, four, five. So I've got five balls. To get it through that gate at a faster speed. So you've got to start with the slowest one. Yeah. But it's got to go through. Yeah. Okay. Then... Some of peas is like a bloody gym workout. I'm sweating. Look, <laughs> no, this is the comparison. So, that is my first swing, and this is what we've been working on. So, the takeaway clearing the club away from the body more, trying to get the left arm in a better position, the club shaft a little bit more laid off to improve the position of that club face. So here we go, so on the left hand side. So as you can see guys, I, on this one, we're going way inside. And here, I've gone outside the line. It's thanks to very simple but effective drill, wouldn't you say? Please. Yeah. Yeah! Now why would I do that? Because I refused to spoon with you last night. Why did I do that? So I've decided to come play nine holes. I've just finished my lesson with Peasy and I'm knackered. It actually turned out to be a workout. Um, I did film it, so that'll be coming on my channel over the next couple of days. 
yeah, my back is so sore. But I've struggled the ball really well and there's a few other areas which we need to fix which we'll be having a lesson on very soon. But at the moment I thought I'd come out enjoy the summer weather before it, whilst it lasts. Because at the moment it doesn't look like it's going to last long. And plus I'm on my Todd. Christian's in Mexico for two weeks so I've got to entertain myself by myself. So yeah, playing a little nine hole by myself. Just played first hole, bogeyed, but eight more to go. We'll see where we can get on. Now why did I do that? Because I refused to spoon with you last night. You may notice something that's missing. If you uh, follow me on Twitter, you'd have seen that my new driver, which I've had for a month and a bit, has snapped. I was on the eighth hole, which is a par five here at Woodbridge, teed up, smashed it, and my club went with the ball. Uh, I was left with the grip in my hand. It actually snapped near the grip end, which is quite odd because usually it's the head end that it snaps, if it were to happen. So, yeah, it's a very bizarre situation. I don't know what happened, but the driver had actually been cut down. So. Uh, the guy in the pro shop here, he said that that could be a possibility why and obviously it's caused the split and over time just weakened. So Callaway, please look after my baby. Um, hopefully I'll be getting that back in a couple of weeks depending on, on the outcome. Um, but yeah, should be getting a new shaft in the driver really, which would be quite good, which is standard length because I found, although a short drive is great for accuracy, I don't know, I just felt like I was losing power. So we'll see what happens. Uh, at the meantime, I've got my three wood and two iron to keep me going. So, as you can imagine, playing golf after a, a golf lesson isn't that sensible because not everything is perfect at the moment. But yeah, I'm two over after three, so I just birdied the par five. Hit a huge three wood, which left me about 200 yards in. So, it's a good 480 yard par five, I think. So, relatively short, but yeah it's that second shot with the iron just didn't help but things are slowing up at the moment but kind of just reflecting on what i need to oh no everything's falling apart in my golf bag oh jeez just kind of reflecting what i need to do really because yeah trajectory is my biggest thing at the moment i'm losing so much i wouldn't say I'm, actually no i wouldn't say i'm losing distance i'm just I don't know, want to hit that more penetrating flight so in the winter when the wind picks up I can do it but hey ho but I've got my new gear on long ball big shouts here and ion bands collected that at the golf show uh, it was a great event and you know, great to meet some of you guys and also Kevin Carpenter um, obviously we walked past Mark Crossfield coach Lockie golf on camera so hopefully we will get a match with him soon obviously Nick Taylor we need a rematch we're going to go see him. Hopefully the weather's going to hold on and we can uh, keep going. But at the moment, I don't know if I'm going to carry on playing. It's quite slow. Let's we'll see how we go. So I'm actually going to leave the vlog here, guys, because that cloud doesn't look too healthy. I um, want to get home before it buckets down. So, yeah, sorry it's a short vlog. But if you enjoyed it, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Um, as I said, I'm, oh, well, I'm going to be doing some more videos with PZ and also Rob, who's the assistant. They're actually going to project her in there, so we're going to do some pretty cool videos, some fun videos as well. So, yeah, your suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Please leave a link down below what you'd like to see, like Longest Drive or Nearest the Pin at the Augusta or sort of thing. But yeah, got some cool videos coming for the winter, you know, as the weather's going to turn horrendous. But look, just appreciate how good does Woodbridge look. Like, amazing. Really is. So proud to be a member here. But yeah, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, as I said, the main video will be out, hopefully this week. And hopefully so I'll have my driver back so we can actually do some tests and get some numbers on it. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. So the final mate of the world show, we're joined with Pops. Hey, there, mate. Hello, Hey, you got Nick. One of Nick, he's somewhere. Where?